What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jack Watches Skibbity Toilet. I've been reading your comments in the latest Skibbity Toilet video, and a lot of you guys were telling me to check out this channel right here, Dom Studio, which apparently you guys have been saying has some secret Skibbity Toilet lore. And as you guys know, I watch everything Skibbity Toilet related. So, today, we're gonna be checking out this, and also a different channel called No Skill Clutch, which, if you guys are fans of the channel, you guys know that we've actually watched their channel before. And uh, I personally believe that this channel is made by the original creator of Skibbity Toilet, this beautiful man right here, who I'm pretty sure has the most views in YouTube history other than Mr. Beast. And it actually looks like there's a couple more Skibbity Toilets, so maybe if you guys leave a like on today's video, we will check those out in a future video. But yeah, I think that No Skill Clutch is actually this guy right here, just in disguise. Like, this is a secret channel, so we're gonna be checking that out. But first thing first, we're gonna check out Dom Studio, who has made their own Skibbity Toilet multiverse lore. Which, I'm kind of curious, like, if you guys think this is actually a part of the original series, or if it's just solely like a fan-made creation. But, let's check it out. So we're probably gonna see a lot of the same characters. Yeah, look, there's, uh, Titan Speaker Man, Titan Cameraman, the Skibbities are flying around. Uh, oh, interesting. Now, since it is the multiverse, I'm kind of curious if something different is going to happen than what we're used to seeing. Like, obviously, in the other multiverse video that we checked out, there were actual people walking around, whereas in, like, the regular series, there's just the toilets, and then there's the camera people along with some of the other, like, speaker people and TV people. So I'm curious if they're gonna have some, like, different characters in this. Huh. Oh, there it is! The first new character! There's Clockman! Wait, this guy looks awesome. He has, like, a steampunk vibe to him. Whoa, and they have giant hammers as well? Oh, wow, that is cool. Huh. And since they're new characters, I wonder if they're gonna have some special abilities. Oh my god! Do they, bro? My man, he just set the timer and exploded! And I, wait, no. He stopped time. I thought it was gonna be like a sonic wave, but no, he stopped time. Literally in its tracks. We've never seen anything like that before, ladies and gentlemen. This is insane. I wonder if the original creator of Skibbity Toilet is watching like these fan-made videos that are actually really well done, and uh, maybe they'll work together and include some of this stuff in the original, because that would be so cool if we actually saw this character in the original Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> okay, they are super overpowered. That was epic. Look at this man. He's so dapper looking. He's like in a suit. Okay. Episode number two of season one of Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. Wow. It's so interesting to see all the different things that could happen. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a little bit OP, honestly. If there were actual clock people in the Skibbity Toilet series, like, there's no way that they would ever lose. Look at that. They can move around the Skibbities. They don't have to worry about getting shot. And it, But it does seem like it only lasts for a certain amount of time. So eventually, they're going to run out of time where they have, like, time frozen. And then they have to be ready. Oh, dude. The Skibbity Toilets kind of seem the same, but... I don't know what that was. I don't know what that clock man just did, but it kind of looked like he just pooped everywhere. Uh, oh. <laughs> what? Is that how he's communicating? <laughs> what, bro? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh, that was so random. Oh, wow. Okay, so it seems like the main characters in this series are the clock people. It's the clock people versus the skibbities. What is that? Oh, 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 okay. He just turned back the clock, bro. These guys are like Doctor Strange. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. By the way, if you guys notice any secret Easter eggs in this, leave a comment down below with a timestamp because there's usually some secrets in these videos that I am just too stupid and I miss. Huh. Okay, there's still the camera people, right? The security camera people. And uh, who is that? What? This is really confusing, dude. 
Wait, I don't know if you guys just saw that. Look at that. Look at that. There's like a like a little camera or maybe it's TV woman down there, but she looks extra kawaii. And she has like this giant scythe. Huh. My man. He do not look well. Whoa. What is that? Yo, that was sick. There's Titan Clock, dude. Sick, bro. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, the original series is really cool, but some of these fan-made animations, they're amazing. I wish that they could all team up together and combine all of the characters in the multiverse and they could all meet up just like the Avengers in Endgame. Wow. Wow. So his blaster freezes time, but only the thing that he hits. Everything else still keeps going. Whoa. And what did that do? Oh, whoa, it can turn! It can turn him! Wow! He has his own parasite gun, so we can change the team of the Skibbity. Holy smokes, this guy is OP. There's nothing that could beat that thing, right? Not even G-Man? He could just shoot G-Man in the face with the time stopper, and there's nothing he can do. Okay, this is G-Man's number two. This is Scientist Guy. Oh, there's G-Man. G-Man, man, I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> G-Man's on the run. Wow. Wow. What? This has to be the most overpowered Titan that we've seen. He is, he is basically 1v2-ing G-Man and the Scientist. I've never seen anything like this. Wow. Oh, he, wait. Why don't they want to end this right now? Whoa. <laughs> what? How did he just teleport? He has every ability. Seriously. What is that? A magnet skibbity? Wow. That was a lot to break down, but first things first, before we do, we need to check out the latest episode, which was released yesterday, Skibbity Toilet Multiverse number five. Let's see. So we just watched Titan Watchman, Titan Clock Dude, destroy G-Man, the scientist dude, and basically the entire army of Skibbities. He has every power ever. He can teleport, he can stop time. What is going on with this guy, though? Like the box watch clock dude. I don't really know any good names for these guys. Who is that? I don't know what POV this is, but he had some crazy gravity gun. <laughs> huh. Oh, no. That's not good. Whoa! What's up with these magnets? Oh! The magnets. They're super effective against the clock people. They could shut down their clocks. There's always something with the skibbities. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. All of the magnets might mess up Titan Watch Dude. Oh, he's got some good. Yes! Yes, he's got his own skibbity army because he took the over their minds using the mind control thing. Very cool. I'm honestly surprised at how good that fan animation was. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about that in the comment section down below. This was created by Dom Studio, who did such a great job with that. That was epic. I mean, yeah, he had his own style, too, which I really liked. But let's go check out the No Skill Clutch multiverse animations. We're going to check out season four first and then the latest episodes. So, yeah, just like I said earlier, I think this is made by the original creator. Like, the style is exactly the same. But it's so weird because there's actual people in this. So, if this is actually made by the original creator, that means that eventually this universe and the original Skibbity universe, they're gonna they're gonna intersect at some point. And then we're gonna see the actual normal people. Like there's a normal G-Man in this universe. We're gonna see him and then the G-Man Skibbity. And I don't know what team they're all on. Like it's so confusing. See, look, like, in this, there's cameras inside of toilets, there's people, there's, look at that, TVs inside of toilets, there's TV skibbities. Like, what team are we on right now? I don't know who to root for anymore. 
It was so simple in season one. I just knew that toilets were bad, cameras were good. And it, that's all that my brain could handle. Like, that thing? What even is that? That is a speaker skibbity. Titan. A Titan speaker skibbity. It's so difficult to track anymore. Somebody needs to make like a giant family tree of all the different multiverses of skibbity toilet. Just so that my tiny peanut brain can keep track of this. Oh. My. God. <laughs> like what? The skibbities in this universe are so overpowered. Oh my goodness. I don't know if like the people are still the skibbities anymore. They're still singing skibbity. Huh. Comment down below who whose team you think is the good team and whose team you think is the bad team. In this one, I think that the skibbities, like the actual things in the toilet, are good. Like the camera people. They're not even people anymore, just the camera skibbities. They're on the good side. And G-Man, G-Man's clearly evil, right? Let's see what this is all about. It's a toilet graveyard. <laughs> this is so scary. I don't like where this is headed. Huh. Oh? Oh no, it's one of the parasites. What? What? Hold up. Guys. We've seen that before. And I'm pretty sure it's in the original Skibbity whole series. We've seen Skibbities that have bodies. And this might be where it came from. I'm starting to think that in this multiverse, there's, there's a portal to the original Skibbity series that we've watched so many episodes of at this point. But I think that is everything. If you guys have any theories or if you noticed anything that I missed, leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed, leave a like. And while you're at it, click this video to see more.